John Curtin leads Australia in Sid Meier's Civilization VI. He was Australia's 14th Prime Minister and served during the Second World War, where he gained praise for helping unify the country's war effort. He died in office just before the end of the Pacific War, but he paved the way for Australia to enter the post-war world. Australia's unique ability is land down under. Their cities get extra housing when built on coastal tiles. Campuses, commercial hubs, holy sites, and theater squares get additional yields when built in tiles with charming or breathtaking appeal. Australia's unique unit is the digger. This replaces the infantry unit and gets additional combat power on land tiles adjacent to water and when fighting outside their territory. The Outback Station is Australia's unique tile improvement. This tile improvement unlocks with the Guild Civic and can be upgraded with steam power and rapid deployment. It provides food and production with bonus food for adjacent pastures. In addition, pastures can trigger a culture bomb effect, grabbing adjacent tiles from other civs and city-states. John Curtin's unique ability is called Citadel of Civilization. Australia gets bonus production at the start of a defensive war and when it liberates a city. Australia is a sieve that can make great use of their coastal land. The bonus yield from high appeal tiles can snowball over the course of a game. The extra housing from coastal starts means Australia can grow large without having to make extra investment into housing. This gives players the flexibility to choose any victory path. Australia's increased production bonus when targeted for war gives it a strong defensive capability. Just because Australia doesn't have a strong army when the war starts doesn't mean they can't put one together in a hurry. As John Curtin said, the game isn't lost or won until the last bell goes. How will you lead Australia in Sid Meier's Civilization VI?